Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at an example that deals with the statement of cash flows. In this example, for the statement of cash flows, we need to determine on which in which section of the statement of cash flows this activity is listed. And we have three sections. We have operating, investing, and financing. And also we have kind of third category or a fourth category that's called non-cash investing and financing. Simply put, it's a non-cash activity. It's a non-cash investing, non-cash financing. So we need to identify those activities as well. Now also for the operating section, I'm gonna determine whether I'm gonna add or deduct from the operating section. So when you are preparing a statement of cash flows, you need to determine under which category does this activity goes. Is it operating? Is it investing? Is it financing? Or it could be non-cash investing and financing. Then after you determine the category, you need to determine whether this is a plus, is it gonna add to cash or deduct from cash. So let's go ahead and get started by looking at purchase of equipment. So the company purchase equipment. Under which category would we list this transaction? Is it operating, investing, or financing? Or is it non-cash investing and financing? Well, if we purchase an equipment and that's all what we are told, we assume that we purchased it. So it's a non-cash investing and financing because we made a purchase. And when you buy property, plant, and equipment, this is a form of investing in your business. So you are investing in your business, and when you purchase, it's a negative. When you purchase something, you have to pay for it. It's a negative cash. So that's investing and negative. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. The second item is depreciation. Now we purchase the equipment or this plant asset. Now what do we do? We depreciate the asset. Therefore, we're gonna be taking depreciation expense. And this is specifically depreciation expense. Under which category we would list depreciation expense? And here we are assuming we are using the indirect method. And the answer is all expenses because they are income statement accounts, they go on the operating section. Now the question is this, how do you list depreciation expense under operating section? Do you add or do you deduct? And the answer is you add depreciation expense under the operating section. You need to know why. Well, when we prepare the income statement, we start with revenues minus expenses gives us net income. Then when we prepare the statement of cash flow, we start with this net income, then we make certain adjustments. Well, part of the expenses was depreciation expense. So what we did is we deducted depreciation expense and depreciation expense is a non-cash. So we deducted something that reduced our net income without reducing our cash. Now, if we are computing our cash operating income, what do we have to do? We have to do the opposite. Since we deducted the depreciation, now we add the depreciation. Exchange of plant asset equipment with a fleet of trucks. So we took a bunch of plant asset equipment and we trade them with a fleet of trucks. Well, plant assets are form of investing. Trucks are form of investing. Well, what is this? Is it investing? And the answer is, since we are told we exchange them, we did not pay for anything, it's a non-cash financing and investing. So this is a non-cash financing and investing. This is an example of it. Now, what do we do with these transaction? We will disclose them. There's a place at the bottom of the statement of cash flows. We will disclose, we'll tell the users that we did exchange and in the notes of the financial statement, we might add more information about this exchange. Redemption of loan. What does, what does it mean? It's a fancy word for paying off your loan. You are paying off your loan. Well, loans, when you borrow money and you pay back your borrowing, it's a form of financing yourself. 
So the category is financing, and since you are paying off the loans, it's negative. The opposite is true. If you are borrowing money, it's financing but positive. Sale of equipment. Well, sale of equipment is the opposite of a purchase of equipment, right? So it's investing. In sale, you are selling your equipment. That's a positive. Now, that's not good sometimes when you're selling your equipment, especially if you are trying to raise cash. You don't really want to sell your equipment unless your equipment are not needed anymore, which is why they're not needed since you bought them. So it's it's not usually it's not good. Okay, but it's an investing and it's bringing cash positive. Issuance of common stock. You are selling your own, your own company common stock. Well, that's a form of financing. This is how you finance yourself. So it's financing. And since you're selling stocks, you're receiving cash in return. That's the assumption since we are not told otherwise. Now, payment of dividend. Now you issued the stocks. Now you have to pay dividend. Well, kind of they're related. Therefore, I would say dividend is finance. And since I'm paying, it's a negative. Payment of dividend clearly is negative. Now, you have to be careful here because because I kind of made a statement. It's not it's a true, but I don't want you to generalize it, to generalize it. I said issuing of common stock is financing. Issuance of loan or bond is also financing. But the interest when you pay interest on that loan, which is a financing, interest is operating. So that's kind of a little bit odd that the interest on the loan is a is an operating activity the dividend on the common stock is financing although the common stock is financing and the loan is financing just something to be aware of that interest expense is an operating activity amortization of intangible asset amortization follow the same concept of depreciation depreciation is for tangible asset amortization is for intangible asset therefore it's operating and we will add to cash flow just the same concept as depreciation issue bonds which is borrowing money for warehouse well you issued bond bond is a financing a warehouse is investing but no cash exchange this is a non-cash investing and financing now we issue bonds for cash that becomes a financing because we receive the cash and it's a plus now remember the interest that's paid on that bond will be operating and will be a minus it will be a deducted from operating activities so notice the difference here. The interest on the bond is operating. Increase in interest receivable on bonds. So this is now we have a receivable and the receivable is an asset, specifically of a current asset. And when current asset goes up, your cash flow goes down. It means you are generating income without getting the cash. So when your receivable goes up, it means you are reporting revenues, but that revenue is non-cash revenues. Pension expense exceeds amount funded. So you have a pension expense. Well, the pension expense is definitely operating. And if pension expense not paid, if you did not pay it, so it's you recorded the expense and you accrue it, it's basically going to increase the cash flow, just like depreciation expense. It's an expense, but, but, it's, not, but it's not being paid in cash. Purchase of treasury stock. You bought back your stock. Well, that's the opposite of issuance of stock. So it's a financing and it's minus. You are buying back your own stock. Gain on sale of asset. So you sold an asset and you had a gain. Now, selling of the asset itself, we saw the selling of the equipment is an investing. The gain, because you might have a gain, you might have a loss. How do we treat the gain or the loss on the statement of cash flows? The gain is goes under operating because remember, gains and revenues, they go on the income statement. They're part of the income statement. Now, the gain increases your net income without increasing your cash. And the loss reduces your net income without reducing the cash. So how do we make the adjustment? Gain is an operating activity because it goes on the income statement and we deduct the gain because the gain increased net income and the gain itself is not the cash. The cash is the sale. Therefore, we deduct. The loss is the same. It goes on the operating section. And since the loss reduced net income without reducing the cash, we did not really pay cash for the loss. The loss is just an accounting figure, the difference between your what you received in proceeds and your book value. Therefore, we add. Increase in prepaid. Prepaid is a current asset. 
when your prepaid goes up it's a negative cash flow the assumption is you paid for that prepaid if your prepaid are going up it means you are buying more prepaid than expensing and the opposite is true if your prepaid goes down your cash flow goes up because you are expensing the prepaid that you paid for in another period increase in, in accrued liabilities so when your current liability go up when your liabilities goes up it means your cash flow is also going up why because you are borrowing you are accruing you are recording liabilities to operate so the expenses here are non-cash expenses you are operating the business but you are not paying cash therefore it's a positive cash what should you do now go to Farhat lectures and work MCQs you really want to know this inside out you should not have any doubts about any of these items because those items will be given in a different format either in a balance sheet format in an exhibit format on the exam you want to be very comfortable as soon as you are giving something like this you would know exactly where it goes you are comfortable with it invest in yourself your cpa exam is important don't take this lightly it's an investment in your career study hard i'm always here to help you and stay safe